So we're going to talk a little bit about the calendar now. Uh, you can see that it's here on your dashboard. Uh, you can also, on the left-hand side of the screen, click on the calendar. Uh, you can make it uh, month, week, or day views. Uh, so you can see it here just on the dashboard. So let's say we want to make an appointment for a patient. One thing we can do is we can click to schedule anywhere on this calendar, but we can also use the short link here. Or one tip that I do for my browser is make the home button the default link to calendar. So wherever I'm at, I can quickly get back to the main screen. And don't forget, because this is cloud-based, you can open up new tabs. So if you need to reference a patient, you can open up a new tab and not lose what you were doing. So let's get to an appointment. So we just click on the 3 o'clock or 3.30 appointment. You can adjust the times here and here. You'll see your patients listed above. And when you hover, hover over them, you'll see the details for each appointment. As you start typing, it auto-completes based on your patient list. So we'll pick Vladimir for the 3 o'clock appointment. It will auto-select the doctor responsible for that patient, but you can change that if needed. Indeed. And then you can uh, identify the appointment type in that text box. And if the patient has their email or SMS activated within the chart, you can click to notify them of that so the patient will be contacted for the appointment. You'll also be able to select which calendars you see. So your staff might have all of the doctors selected, but you may just have the few uh, staff or physician schedules that you need. Lastly, you can subscribe those calendars to your iOS or mobile device through this feature.